Good afternoon and welcome to yet another edition of Education's Education Webinar Series. This being our 37th episode from Gunashila Hospital. I am Irene S. Deepak, consultant, nutritionist and counsellor for Gunashila Hospitals. I thought it would be befitting to throw some light with respect to nutrition, wherein I could talk about few of those superfoods which would actually act as fuels to recovery during and post COVID. Why is nutritious food so vital at this moment when COVID is prevalent? Let us not forget, we have been through those bouts of infections, wherein right now our body is undernourished and immunodeficient. So by having these essential nutrients, we will try to recover from those symptoms like loss of, loss of taste, loss of smell, sore throat, uh, dry cough, muscle pain, etc. So whether you might not feel right now like eating anything and your energy levels are low, I advise you to try and eat something so that you are on your way to recovery and that's the only way your body will heal and come back to its old self. Before I begin, as a counselor, I always like to begin with the car with a positive note. I begin anything and everything with that optimistic attitude that what you are going to do or perhaps what you are going to eat is going to help you and you are going on that road of recovery and you will see success. It is very important to believe in oneself and see that one day you will bear the fruits of your intentions. I begin with water. Water, the elixir of life. We know that 60% of our body is made up of water. And during COVID times, we've heard of a lot of dehydration happening. Uh, the mouth is dry. Uh, uh, saliva is hardly there, a loss of electrolytes because of uh, loose stools and so on and so forth. So this is the best time when you wake up in the morning, first thing you do is have a glass or two of water and gradually see how you can have juices, especially citrus uh, juices with uh, the goodness of uh, lime, um, lemon, orange, and uh, you have that um, a dose of vitamin C in yourselves. Water also helps you to rejuvenate yourself. It helps even, you know, oxygen into running into your uh, bloodstream and uh, helps you focus more and uh, helps you mentally and physically. Exercise. I'm sure a lot of us have been exercising and uh, exercised perhaps in the past and right now our energy levels are drained uh, there's a lot of fatigue in us but don't worry uh, let us start off very slowly by you know going out taking some sunshine few stretches few deep breaths and perhaps few poses of yoga if you must and you could always ask the um, advice of your physician or your uh, yoga or your trainers uh, what you need to do. And of course, do not overstrain and do not feel breathless. Your dose of sunshine is very important right now because you need that much of vitamin D in your body. We as Indians have very high melanin levels, so we know vitamin D absorption is very hard. Therefore, that much of um, vitamin D that you get from the sun is so important because it also helps 
in coding almost 3,000 genes in your body. So see that you get your share of vitamin D every day. Coming to carbohydrates, I would always recommend low carbs like ragi, millets, um, brown rice, because of their low glycemic index for the fact that the sugar gets released very slowly into the blood versus maida and white rice and sugars has a very high glycemic index and that the sugar levels surge into the blood very quickly. And not to forget, because of uh, having been treated for COVID in the past, we would have had doses of steroids. And these steroids would have definitely spiked our sugar levels as well. So I advise you to go very low on your sugar levels right now. Uh, try to avoid as much less of ice creams, cakes, cookies, and such kind of sugary stuff until you're really recovered and you're good to go. Tomatoes, papaya, carrots, watermelon contain what is known as lycopene. So you see a lot of these colors, red, orange. In fact, colors have a very strong impact on the body from your fruits and vegetables. I would call them the rainbow colors. See how you can have tomatoes and papaya, watermelon every other day uh, because it contains what is known as lycopene, which actually helps in improving the oxygen levels in the body. It helps in improving the lung function. It's been proven by sportsmen who had a lot of these lycopene um, uh, fruits and vegetables uh, in their diet um, before their workout and before races. And many of them have had their good success stories. Drumsticks. Filled with the goodness of iron, magnesium, wonderful antioxidants, and helps to prevent and help people who have low HB levels and helps to uh, treat anemia. So see that you have your drumsticks as soups with your meal as a side dish, or even uh, you, you can even use the leaves of drumsticks, which is highly recommended. Soups, a meal by itself, lentil soup, tomato soup, broccoli soup, drumstick soup. It's filled with the goodness of all those electrolytes and all the vitamins that you get from your vegetables into that and tries to get back that electrolyte balance in your body, especially after you have had loose tools and right now your body is feeling really fatigued. So make sure that you have a soup every day, perhaps as a mid-morning um, meal or perhaps in the evening before your dinner. And they will definitely help you in rejuvenation and give you lots of energy. Cinnamon, black pepper, black cumin, we call it pata, we call it um, mensen, we call it um, uh, Kalonje, these are wonderful antioxidants that we can add as flavorings to our soups, to our curries, and they have great fighting properties and help to hinder free radical formation. So please see that you include a lot of these in your curries and your soups as far as possible. Turmeric are wonderful antioxidants. Again, helps in preventing free radical formation. You could add it to your milk, and it's known as golden milk, especially before bedtime, and it induces a wonderful sleep, apparently. And many of the um, patients uh, have actually said that, you know, it's done a lot of good 
especially being an antioxidant. Broccoli, another master antioxidant, contains iron, potassium, calcium, fiber, and it contains what is known as glutathione. It helps blood vessels from getting damaged. It has a very low glycemic index. It helps to even uh, curb those hunger pangs, which you can use later on. And it has a lot of fiber. It helps in muscle recovery. So please see that you have soups of broccoli and soups of tomatoes, which has lycopene every other day, since it does do a lot of good to recovery during and post COVID. Beetroot. Beetroot lettuce, a lot of green vegetables are known as vasodilators. They help to increase the diameters of the blood vessel, thereby helping in more of flow of blood and oxidation of tissues. Try and add beetroot, even you can have it as soups, have it in your salads, have it as a curry, add a lot of beetroots and drumsticks in your sambars. They're going to definitely have its own benefit in so many ways that you can even imagine. Proteins, high proteins from eggs, chicken and fish. One of the most important ingredients, essential nutrients, Proteins being so useful for repairing those worn out tissues, worn out cells. And as we know, amino acids are the building blocks of proteins. You will find a lot of them in your eggs. And for vegetarians, I would advise you at least have two egg whites every day. And if you cannot, see that you have your sprouts, you have your nuts, you have your badams, almonds, pistachios, your soya, your soya milk, almond, almond milk, paneer, um, your curd, your buttermilk. You can have your oats um, in buttermilk. You can have your ragi malt in buttermilk. See how you can actually um, have your share of proteins uh, every other day in all your square meals. And as for non-vegetarians, you should have your share of chicken and fish for at least two meals. Because like I said, the amino acids are the building blocks of proteins and then they help to um, build up strength and immunity for the body at this point of time. And they help to um, get back those uh, worn of muscles and uh, cells. And I would suggest a um, lot of uh, fish are there like salmon or mackerel or sardines or sear fish and even pomfret. These are those wonderful fishes that have a lot of omega acids in them. So see that you have your dose of them every day. Ginger and garlic, wonderful antioxidants. See how you can use them. And they're also known as free radical scavengers. Include them in your curries, in your pulaos, in your soups. They'll do wonders. Black tea contains polyphenols and tannin. They are great source of rejuvenation, especially early in the morning or as your mid-morning, with your mid-morning snack by around 11 o'clock or 4 o'clock. Have it. It will definitely make you feel good. They're great de-stressors and wonderful in helping in being, um, in, in, in curing um, inflammation. Omega fatty acids, proteins and vitamins, all the goodness found in your almonds, in your 
um, walnuts, in your um, pistachios, and of course, a lot of vitamins in your blackberries and in your blueberries. Try and add them as much as possible even into your salads. Juices, citrus fruits, orange, lemon, grapefruit. Make juices with them. Have it in the morning. It definitely helps you with, with your vitamin C, with your colds and coughs. Helps you to build up your immunity. Uh, kiwi is wonderful with lots of uh, traces of zinc and magnesium. Try to add different colors in your diet. Your body will do so well when you have different colors as part of your nutrition and each color def has a wonderful impact on the body. So see that you uh, use different colors on your platter. Milk, one of the most wholesome foods with the goodness of protein, fats, vitamins and minerals and of course calcium. It helps to regain our strength, our immunity, helps muscles in recovery, helps the bone, helps our flexibility and agility. Try and have a glass of milk every day, especially before going to bed during and post COVID times. You could have a hot cup of chocolate. You could have golden milk. Like I said, just a dash of milk, uh, turmeric in your milk will do wonders and induce a great good night sleep. Last but not the least, always feel blessed for you woke up today morning, for the air that you and I breathe. Be so grateful for so many things you are today and you have. We definitely know of so many people close to us or perhaps a beloved one of our friends who've left us. So just be grateful and thankful for even this food that you eat and the help you get from people around you. Be happy. Before I sign off, I'd like to wish you the best of health. Please take care. Be safe. Thank you so much.